Give the doctor a hand, please. No, 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 no. Thank you, Doc. Appreciate this uh, opportunity to be a part of you. Welcome to church this morning. You may be seated, please. You may be seated. Thank you, Doctor. Appreciate it. It's not a right to be here, but it's just a privilege. And for the opportunity to be a part of what God is doing right in this place. Medical Christian Fellowship Church International. And we have the beautiful First Lady here this morning. You're the First Lady. By the side of this great, this great man of God, Pastor M. Aharab. You can decode the M. So. <laughs> Amen. It's good to be here. I bring you greetings yeah. all the way from the United States of Nigeria. Yes, sir. I'm David Lagos, the former uh, capital of, uh, the, of Nigeria. We now have a new capital in Abuja, but I'm still the old capital. Yes, sir. And great things are happening there by the grace of God. Amen. And I spoke with the fine girl this morning. She called me. Yeah. And to know how I'm doing. Yes, and I told her I'm doing great. Amen. And by the grace of God, I'll be back home in two days' time. Tomorrow yes. I'll leave for my country. I'm not an American. I am from the United States of Nigeria. Right. I'm just visiting the United States of America. Yes, so tomorrow I'll be on my way back home yes, to Nigeria. All right, now. Amen. Amen. It's good to be in the presence of God. Yes. The Bible says, in the presence of God, Amen. in the fullness, you know, there's fullness yes. of what? Joy. Not partial joy, but fullness. Yes. Not have joy, but fullness. Right. Somebody say, I have a full joy. See, they try to pull on me. Yeah, what God has taken away. Yeah. See, they try to take from me. What God has given to me. He comes around to tell me lies. I don't need to say, don't need Jesus in my soul. Don't allow the devil to mess you up. He's a liar. He's a fraud. He's a cheat. So what God has given to you is yours. Some of us have an overcome. This morning, we're going to read from the word of God. And uh, Sister Rose is not here this morning. She's at work. She's not here. I'm sure the keyboard is how you doing, brother? What's your name? Karma. Karma? Like that car is mine. Karma. Well, the car is your Karma. Man, I love that. That's good. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I trust in you, I depend on you, you are my teacher and my helper, all the spirits, the spirit of God, the spirit of God, the Holy Spirit is in the in you and I depend I depend on you you are my teacher you are my teacher and my helper and my helper Holy Spirit Holy Spirit the Spirit of God the Spirit of God have your way Holy Spirit, 
you know, the law was say, say, if you be evil, know how to give good things to your children. Yeah. What about a big father yeah. in heaven? He would give the Holy Ghost to those that ask him. This morning, I want to share with us briefly what I called Importunity will take you there. What did I say? Importunity will do what? Take you there. It will take you there. Now, the account here is about a man who had a guest, a late hour. He decided to go to a friend of his to ask for bread. Right. He ran out of stock, so he needed bread from his friend. The Bible said it was at midnight. You know, a lot of people love to sleep at that time. They were snoring. <laughs> Some sleep at that time, and he was sleeping. By that time, this man came and knocked at his door. Please, I need bread. He said, look, Joe, I can't give you bread. I'm going to bed. And with my kids in bed, I cannot do that. But Joe refused to go. Joe continued to bang at the door. The Bible says he continued, he refused to leave. And the Bible said he didn't give him because he was his friend, but one word called importunity, he decided when Joe refused to quit, when Joe refused to leave, when Joe refused to go, he said, what, what is wrong with this Joe? He went in, and Joe was a bit more than three. It must have been more than three. And you know what? If somebody is disturbing you, after you, some children, they do that. So to dad, you say, yes, son, my chocolate. They keep on reminding you. Yeah. And they don't forget. They don't forget. Dad, mm. as you are leaving, says that, don't forget my chocolate when you're coming back. Mm -hmm. He will always remind you. And so this man gave him because of what? Importunity. The word importunity means Perseverance, persistency, mm -hmm. refusing to take a no yeah. for an answer. Say, neighbor, neighbor. Never, quit. never quit because oh. quitters Quit never get what they want. Yeah. <laughs> the Bible said he continued, and the friend gave him said, Please yeah. take and leave me alone. There are many Christians, they pray after praying for one, say, Father, in the name of give me this, if it doesn't happen, they quit. We don't need to quit easily. The Bible was saying in the book of the says, so in the morning, so in the noon, so in the evening. He said, don't slack. You don't know which of them will produce results. Mm -hmm. It could be the one in the morning, or in the noon, or in the evening. Or the three of them, all of them. And so, don't slack. This man got results because he persisted. Yeah. This man got results because he refused to quit. Yes. This man got result because he refused to go. Yes, yes. He had a need and he went for it. And the Lord was saying, say, ask. What happened? You receive. But many of us today, we don't know how to ask and we don't know how to seek. There is that laziness, there is that weakness. We don't want to press on. Yes. Paul said, I'm pressing on. I press. Keep on moving on. Yeah. You know the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter number 9 verse 62. He said no man having put his hand on the plow and looking back again is qualified. Mm. There are a lot of Christians today. Weakness. Mm. They don't want to press on. Weakness. They don't want to hold on. Weakness. Yeah. Yeah. They don't want to stand their ground. Weakness. The Bible yeah. says in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57. He said remain steadfast. Yes, mm. yes. Yeah, yeah. He said, be steadfast. He said, what? Unmovable. Always abide. Always. Not occasionally. Not periodically. Not when it is convenient. No. Always abiding in the work of the Lord. For as you know, your labor is not what? In vain. So hold on. This man persisted. Refused to quit. Refused to leave. Refused. Refusing to agree. The neighbor said it's friend. It was his friend, not an enemy. A friend. Yet, he said, I'm not going. He held on. Until he got what he needed. Yeah. I am saying to somebody hearing me this morning. Yeah. Don't give up. 
your miracle is on the way. You are stepping in into the threshold of miracle. You are about to step into your victory. All you need to do is to stand and wait upon the Lord. The Bible says the vision for an appointed time. There is an appointed time. And the Bible says, if you delay what did he say, wait for it. It will come. It will not work. Holding on. There's one of my songs, I may sing that before I run on this message. Holding on. Prayerfully. Faithfully. Always. Every day. For I know everything is going to be what? All right. So we need to hold on. There are a lot of people that gave up on the way after trying some people. I said, well, I don't think it's for me. Let me just quit. Let me just give up. No, don't give up. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't think it's over. It is not over. God is not true with you yet. By the grace of God, uh, many years ago when we went to Bible School 972, in June this year, I celebrated 50 years in ministry preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I wrote a book, The Infallible Faithful God. The Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 7 verse 9, it said, God's faithfulness to a thousand generations is faithful. The devil is a fraud, but God is faithful. The devil is a cheat, but God is faithful. You say, how do I know that? Because he had done that in my life. For about 54, going to 55 years, I've been the faith. The Lord has been good to me. Yes, Lord. When I look back retrospectively, I know that God is good. Yes. Yes. But the devil come around. That's why that, my, that song that says, he comes around to lie to you. Mm-hmm. He tells you, do you think God loves you? He loves me. Yes. If God loves you, why have you taken all this? Why has my friend is coming? He's coming, yeah. If it happened, Amen. if it come to pass. Yeah. You know, he came to Jesus. He said, are you sure you are the son of God? Yes. If you are. Then turn the stone to bread. Jesus said, I don't need to turn stone to bread to prove my sonship. I am the son of God. I don't need to prove that. He's a liar. He went to Eve in the garden. He said, I what did God say? God said, You shouldn't eat all this fruit. You know, did he say the kind of question? It's such a technical question. Did God say, Oh, and he said, No, 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 no. God didn't say that. My friend, a lot of all we try to defend God. God did say that. I said, what did God say? God said, we can eat all but that one. So you see that? So the kind of question it was a dicey question. Yeah. <laughs> Don't defend God. He's too big to be defended. Yeah, man. He's too good, he's too big to be to be protected. He said, I'm the great God. I am that I am. He said, I am the Alpha, the beginning, and I'm the Omega, the yeah. end. When you look for him in the beginning, you will find him there. And when you go to the end, he is there. He never changed, he never failed. Thank you, Lord. And that's how he got Eve. And when he came to, he said, It is written. You know, you know how to quote the Bible, too. It is written. When you jump down, took him to the mount, he said, Jump down, pinnacle of the church. And his angel, and that was the scripture in Psalm, his angel will come and charge over you. And the Lord said, It is written. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord. When the devil comes around, I told you on Friday night, power in the world. Uh We should learn how to use the word of God. When you are going through any challenge or trial, learn how to use the word. That is why it's important you learn the word. Read the word. Memorize the word. The Bible says, study to prove that said. Approve of who? God. A workman that need not want to be ashamed. Rightly divided. What kind of word? The word, not of lie, but of truth. The truth. We have a lot of false words today. So when the devil comes around, use what? The word. The word of the song. It is written. Thou shalt not tempt the law. That he called him off and the devil said, but oh, this man doesn't want. And he went and look, do you see all the kinos here? America, France, oh, Japan, God. Tokyo. <laughs> ah, they belong to me. Just say good morning, sir. I'll give it to you. Yeah. And they never say you are rich. 
The Lord said, you come and get behind me, Satan. I want to see you and give it to me now. It belongs to me. He said, listen to me. It is written. Thou shalt not worship any other God. Only the Lord thy God shall thou worship. Say what? Use the word of God. Power in the word of God. And so, this man persisted. I want to give you some scriptures this morning. Men and women who remain faithful, who remain steadfast, who remain consistent, who refuse to take a no for an answer, who refuse to buy the, the lies of the devil. He lies. He tells you, the Bible said, he's the father of all lies. And when he speaks lies, he speaks of himself. Yeah. He's the originator. He's the inventor. He owns that. It belongs to him. But we don't need to allow the devil to cheat us by lying to us. Mm -hmm. We should have the word of God in us. The word of God. The word of God says, thou shalt not be this. Hold on to that. The word of God says, I have given you this miracle. Hold on to that. When the devil says, where is it now? It's coming. Yeah. It's what? It's coming. Yeah. I used to tell people, I say, well, if I don't have a breakfast, I know lunch will come. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> the devil says, well, you say God is good, no breakfast for you. Yeah. Well, forget about breakfast. Something called lunch is there. Yeah. Yeah. And if there is no lunch, there is something called yeah. dinner. And for adventure, there is no dinner. There is something called again breakfast. Yeah. Mm. So I am not going to give up. You know, that was what he did to Esau. Mm -hmm. He was in a hurry. He couldn't wait. He sold his bread right. Yeah. Many of us, we, are, we don't have patience. Mm. We are what? Impatient. Yeah. A man that is consistent or persevered is patient. He has a lot of patience. If it doesn't happen now, it will happen. That was what Saul did. Yes. Samuel told him, I will come. But was what? He was in the heart. Yeah. Yeah. Right, man. Right. He was impatient. I see a lot of people impatient today. Yeah. I see some young preachers. Yeah. They see you, you have been there for more than one decade, two decades, three decades. What you've achieved in 40 years, they want to achieve it now. Uh -huh. They don't want to go through the process. Yeah. They want it done. Yes. Fix microwave. Yes. You know, all time microwave when you want thing that is too cold. After that, ooh, when you bring it out, you eat it. As you eat inside, it's still cold yeah. because it's not properly prepared. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we don't tell you. I come on time. I'm in a hurry. My friend, you hurry to where? <laughs> the Bible said, "They that shall wait upon the Lord." Yeah. Shall what? Renew. Yes, right. You renew your strength when you wait. Yes, right. Not when you run ahead of him. Yeah. Wait for him. Wait for him. Wait for him. Yeah. We always in a hurry. Lord, I'm in a hurry. Time up. Time up. No, don't time him up. He said, at the appointed time, God has time. Many years ago, back over in Nigeria, a lady in the Enugu state, they had a daughter. Uh -huh. And they needed another child. They, yeah, had them. Yeah. they were in the hall. They go to church, some of these orthodox churches. It was published. And they met a native doctor who the priest who said, Well, I am going to give you a concussion. You're going to have other children now. And they gave, gave this man and this woman a concussion to drink, and both of them died. Okay. Leaving the little girl. An orphan. That is what he patient. They don't want to wait. This man waited. Jew, I can say, well, it came to a time after waiting and waiting. What happened? The bread came. The bread came. The bread will come. Your bread will come. Don't run ahead of God. He said for an appointed time. Yes. And do you know God is always on time. Yes. And so when Samuel came, Saul had already told what he was not supposed to do. Yes. Saul wasn't a priest. No. He was 
the king. He performed the function of the priest. He did what he wasn't supposed to do. And when he came, it was all over. And the Lord has rejected him already. And he said, but you said, I, I, was, I was confused. The people are running up and down. I said, I told you I would come. Yeah. If God said, wait for me, wait for him. Wait. You remember, I, I, I watched one thing one time. This little boy, the father told him to sit down here. They went to a, a football game. He said, sit down here. He said, wait, I'm coming back. And this little boy, about 10 years or 12, he sat down there. And do you know confusion came this way? There was some confusion. Guns were being shot and fire was burning. Things were falling down. Somebody was to take it, but the person said, No, my dad said I should wait here. Yeah, right, he believed the daddy. He did what he was saying wasn't an issue. Over time, we allow our mind to control us. He said, Put trust in who? In God. And you know what? This boy sat there. People were gone, people were dying. The father came back and met him at the spot where he asked him to wait. He said, Dad, I didn't go anywhere. I waited. He picked him up and they left. My friend, the Bible said, They that shall wait upon who? The Lord. I have seen a lot of people run ahead of God only for them to regret their actions. I have seen a lot of people go ahead of God all of the day to end up in shame and regret. Yeah. May that never be your portion. Amen. May you wait upon God. Yeah. He will fix it. Yes. He will turn the situation around. Amen. He will fix it. Shadrach, Nation of Benigo, they wait upon God. Yeah. Everybody was bowing down and watching me. He said, we're not going to give up. We're not going to compromise. We're not going to accept this. And the king said, who is that your God? That can deliver it from me. And the Bible says, say that you hit the fire. How many times? Several times. And they told us, King, even though you hit it one million times, we made up our mind. No going back. We hold on to God. May you hold on to God. The one you go through never make you to change your mind about God. The what you see never make you to change your mind about God. Amen. Right. Hold on to him. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Abraham in Genesis chapter number 13 verse 14. You can write it down. Good job. We may not read some of the scriptures but I just said write it down. In Genesis chapter number 13 it's an account of what happened. You know after the demise of Abraham's brother mm -hmm. his son that is Lot was a nephew to Abraham. He took him along with him and made him establish him. Abraham was a, a successful man. The Bible, the first man that was very rich in the Bible, it was in Genesis. The Bible said he was very rich in gold, in silver, in mercy. He was very rich. So, Silas so was when you suffer, you have to live in poverty. No. Abraham was rich. And the Bible says, Corinthians, Jesus became poor that you and I might become what? Rich. Mm -hmm. So don't tell me it's when you're poor you can serve God. If you have one, you can also serve God too. Yeah. True of us. Yeah. You can serve God. If I were to be poor, I wouldn't be here today. When I meet poor, if I don't have the money, I can't come all the way from my country and be here. Yeah. It takes money to fly across the Atlantic Ocean. If I don't have the money to pay the airfare, I'll be in my, in my country. Uh -huh. So, in, when you talk of poverty or riches, it doesn't mean you have to be like the richest man. Right. But you should have enough. Mm -hmm. Proverbs said, don't let me to be too poor so that they won't mock me. That's right, man. And yes. don't be too rich yes, so that I will forget you, God. Oh, 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 you should have. Oh, no. You want to fly to California like Pastor Dr. Solomon did last week? You just go to the airport and board the plane. You go there. Yeah. If you want to use the business class, you're okay. Yeah. But if you want to use also the business economy, they are the same. Uh -huh. You can also fly that. But you have the money to take you there. Yeah. And so, 
God provides for his people. And so Abraham took this young man and he followed him. He came to a time the business was booming, it was blossoming. May yours blossom. Amen. This year is rolling by. Yeah. That which you have not received now, there are still a few days left in this year. Yeah. Do you know that? Yeah. Do you know a miracle can happen to you? Yeah. Yeah. Come and talk to me, somebody. Yeah. It doesn't take God million years to change your story. Yeah. Right. A day, a second can be a different. Yeah. And so he called this young man, Lord, say, young man. We don't need to have conflict. The servants of Lot and that of Abraham, they had conflict. A lot of blessing, miracle, everything was happening. He said, young man, come. We don't need to live a life that will make others to be to ridicule and mock us. Yeah. Yeah. Jews, mm -hmm. the land is, is, is large enough for That's both of us, for us to coexist. Mm -hmm. Do you know some church members, they fight themselves. <laughs> they fight themselves. They disagree because they lack the vision of God. Yeah. But Abraham said, no, we don't do that. We are born to live in peace and in harmony. Yeah. <coughs> he told this young man, mm -hmm. and this young man, for him to say, uncle, please, you choose first. You brought me into this business. I can't, can I take before you? Take first. But this young man, look. He looked to the east. Yes, man. Looked to the west, yes, south, and north. <clears throat> he cleared his throat. He said, Uncle, I think I would prefer the state of Texas. It's bigger. Yeah. And there's a lot of money. Yeah. Or uh, California. There's a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> you know, some young people, they lack it. Understanding future. Wisdom. Yeah. This is an old man that brought you up telling you, son, choose for you to say, sir, I can choose for a place. Do you take for it? He chose. And after he said, I told you, importunity will do what take you there. There is a place called there. Your patient will take you there. Your positivity will take you there. Your faithfulness will take you there. And after he had left, God showed up. God is about to show up in somebody's life oh, this yeah. morning. Yeah. And God showed up. He said, Abraham he said, yes, sir. He said, look to the east. Look to the west and south and north. That's right, man. He said, wherever your eye gets to, yeah. it belongs to you. Man. I'm sure, including the one the young man chose. <laughs> God gave everything to him. My friend, God is in charge. Yeah. If only you can trust in him and believe him, that which you desire will come to you. Yeah. You don't need to fight for it. You don't need to struggle for it. Yeah. The Lord said, I will give it. He said, ask me. Amen. I'll give it. Yeah. He said, the earth is mine yeah. and the fullness yeah. thereof. He said, silver and gold that belong to me. I'll give it to you. Mm. Half the time we go through men. No men don't own anything. It right. belongs to who? God. Right. 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 There's a place called there. Mm -hmm. And Abraham patiently received the best of the best. The Lord said, wherever the soul of your feet are tread upon, it's yours. Mm -hmm. I've given you east, west, north, and south. Because there's a place called what? Yeah. There. What about Jacob? Jacob was a man who was a supplanter. You knew his story. He went to a father where he got married, got wife and children. And when he was returning, his brother that he cheated was approaching him with 400 armed men. That's right, man. 400. That's and you need to see some military men. When you see them, you'll be afraid. We have some young know, boys. See, real men, real men. I mean, men, there are boys, there are men. When you see them, you may even pee in your pants. 400 armed men coming to meet Jacob, the supplanter, the cheater, the fraud, who was coming. And when Jacob heard the news, he said, My God. He decided to give bribe to his brother. Yes, sir. You know what? That, he hasn't changed fully. He wasn't changed yet. You know what he did? He said, Leave. He said, You go and die first. If you die, 
I am behind. He said, Lee, send the concubine, send them. And the one richer, his loved one, he kept that one behind. And he said, what the last, this man, instead of it to go first, he said, you know, he was a crook. He still had that nature in him. But then, that night, the Bible said he had a, a quiet time. He decided to separate himself to the Lord before he met his brother. And that night, he wrestled with God. The Bible said the day was breaking. And what happened? Mm. The angel said, Look, he's breaking. Let me go. He said, Look, I won't let you go. Look at someone said, Neighbor. Neighbor. Never take a no for an answer. The Bible said, He held on. He said, Look. He said, Let me. He said, No. Until you bless me. Yes. Yes, I won't be blessed. 2022 is going. The Lord, my miracle, will not go to 2023. Yes. It's here. It will be carried forward, I will see my miracle. As I go from 2022 to 2023, I am going with my blessing. This morning, my friend, I say in the name of Jesus Christ, your blessing will not elude you. Your miracle will not elude you. That which you desire, you may think is over, it's not over. The Lord will fix it. He's the one that fixed the unfixable. He's the one that does your doable. Yes, sir. I call you the great woman. He do, he do, he do. He do everything. He do, he do, he do. He, do, do, do. he does everything. You call upon him, he will answer you. He said before you call, I've already answered you. That is why he's the almighty God. He's the king of kings and the lord of lords. The unchanging, the unfailing, the eternal, the one that reigns and rules forever. Looked at Jacob and said, What is your name? He said, My name is Jacob. Mm, Jacob said, Look, that name, a change has come today. And I'm saying to somebody hearing me now, a change is coming your way. A change is coming. If only you can hold on to God and trust Him, He will change your life. Men may disappoint you, He never disappoints. Men may fail you, He never fails. Hold on to Him. And you can say, look, I said, you I say, Prince, you have wrestled with God and you have prevailed. Your name from today is called Israel. <laughs> Somebody here, a change is coming your way. The narrative is changing. It isn't going to be the old one, it's a new one. It's changing. Jacob refused to take what? A no for an answer. Persistent. He said, I will let you go. I am not quitting. Change his name from Jacob to Israel. Now, when he appeared before Esau, did Esau say he was afraid? But this time something has happened. Yeah. My friend, God is in charge of your situation. Yeah. He said, What house is it for you, my Lord? Esau said, Look, don't need to come and praise it like they were. Mm. Huh? Jacob said, Is this with all this? All this I said, no, they are not. I just came to come and lead you home, yeah. escort you home. My friend, don't be afraid of what man can do on to you. God has changed the situation. God is in control. He said in Exodus 14, 14, he says, stand, don't be afraid. He said, hold your peace, for I will fight for you. Whatever challenge is, is in your health, the Lord is in charge. He said, by his stripes, you will what? Yeah. Not going to be healed already done for you. All you need to do is to confess by faith and you will receive your miracle. Yeah. What about Ruth? Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir, man. Ruth was another personality. Mm -hmm. In Ruth chapter number one, you can write it down because of time, verse number 16 to 18. Naomi, the mother in law, has lost her husband, lost her two sons. And she was left with two daughters in laws. That's right. And they said, Mama, by this time, the Lord had blessed Judah. He has given them bread. And they were not living in the land of Moab, they ran to because of hunger. Back to Judah. But this time, damage has been done. We must listen to God before we act. Oftentimes, we wrong when no one is pursuing us. It's only sinners that wrong. When they lost her husband and two sons, she was not going back. And the two daughters, they said, Mama, we go with you. They said, My daughter, you can't go with me. 
There is no future for you there. Go back. Go back to Moab. Mm -hmm. You are still young. You can remarry. Yeah. You can remarry. A prophecy came this morning that a young lady here is going to remarry. The best will come. Amen. God does not give source than that. Yeah. Yeah. Ophah cried. Ruth did cry. Ophah went back. But Ruth, I'm not going back. That's right. Never take a new form and an answer. He said, look, your mate, your, your, your co-wife is come back. Go back like her. He said, no. Where you go, I will go. Yeah. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Yeah. Your God shall be my God. Your people shall be my people. Where you die, I will die. Yeah. Where you are buried, that's where I will go. Yeah. Hey, look, the Bible says, he said, when she could not persuade her, she left her alone. Somebody say, never take a no for an answer. Yeah. Don't quit a lot of us will quit so easily. At that proof and end, the number of Jesus said, in Jesus' name. <laughs> My friend, no, wait upon wait, the Lord. Wait. And him speak to you expressly. Yeah. And when he comes, it's clear. He said, write the vision. Make it clear. God does not bring an ambiguity. All his word is unambiguous. You know what happened? This young lady was since there was something there. What others were not seeing, she was seeing it. Even though physically there was no future for her. The woman said, by the way, I can't remarry to them, I have children. Can you wait? It will be, it's not possible. Go back. Ruth said, I'm not interested in marrying. I am following you. It's you. But God had a plan for her. Yeah. Because she refused to quit. Because she refused to retreat. Wow. You know the story. Yeah. Yeah. When she got there, was she alone? She became, if you read the genealogy of Jesus, the word R O U T A, Ruth, is there. She became the great grand grand grandmother of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. She had a son, four, that became the grandfather and the grandfather of Jesse and King David. That is the lineage. A young lady who refused to retreat. A young lady who refused to surrender. A young lady who refused to quit. A young lady who refused to give up. The Lord had a plan for her. My friend, you hear me today? Don't think God is not interested in you. He said in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the thought that I think to God has a plan for you. All you need to do is to follow him. All you need to do is to obey. All you need to do is to go away and ask you to go. Yeah. Just follow yeah. him. Who would have thought that a Moabite, a young widow Moabite, would become a part of the blessings of God? Because she refused to take a no for an answer. Because she remained persistent, constant. She didn't quit. Mama, I'm going nowhere. You see, her, her love was not materialistic. Amen. If it was, she would have gone back. Right. What has this old woman for her? Nothing. No children, nothing. A young, maybe she may be in her 20s. Yes, she followed this woman. And God rewarded her. I want you to know, whatever you do, God will reward you. Amen. Your labor is not in vain. Your service is not in vain. All the time, people look to pastors to reward them. My friend, that is temporary reward. Your rewarder is God. He is the giver. The Bible says, when he said, he, every word of our, what we do, God will reward us accordingly. He said, be not to see what you sow, you reap. What kind of service are you rendering? Are you doing high service? You see, when the pastor is there, you do it. Is it when the first, my friend, you're wasting your time. The Lord God is the rewarder, and your labor will not be in vain. Now, what about Mordecai? Time will not be just this of you. Mordecai, if you read Esther chapter number 4, verse 15 through 16, Mordecai was another man who refused to take a no for an answer. Hannah was to destroy the Jews, and money had been paid into the treasury. And Mordecai went to the gates of the king. Mm -hmm. It was an error. Mm -hmm. 
for you to put on sack clothes and go to the gate. Because death is a penalty. Yeah. Yet he went in. Yet he went in. Yeah. And signed there. But Esther said, drop your clothes. Give him clothes. He said, no, I'm not changing my clothes. You must do something. You know the story. Yeah. When he refused to go home, when he refused to quit, the Bible says, Esther told her, go. I will fast for three days. Tell the Jews. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will go before the king. For one month now, I go to the king. The king has not called me. But if I perish, I perish. Yeah. One, the kind of refused to take a no for what? Yeah. And yeah. yeah. And what about the widow in, in the book of Luke chapter number 18? Yeah. Who persistently pastor this judge who was unrighteous? Yeah. The Bible said, the king, the judge refused to answer her. But she became a regular feature at the gate. Early in the morning, you're like, Your Highness, good morning, Your Highness. <laughs> and the Bible says, I didn't pursue this king. And they say, What is wrong with this woman? The first place, you know, some, some belief in some place, in my place, like when you wake up, you see some people in the morning, you go back and they say, I don't want to see bad time. Because you feel it's bad woman. And so this woman refused to leave. Early in the morning, she's by the gate to the, to the palace. Your Highness, please. The past, until one day the king, the judge, the wicked said, even though I don't fear God, this woman will piss me off. That day he stopped. Woman, what is your name? He said, my name is Patient. No wonder. She had the patience. She waited. She didn't want to go. What do you want? My land, my days, they take you from me. My husband died. Where is that land? He's located in Gamma State. How many plots? He's 20 acres of land. They took him and said, yes. Count it, yes sir. I tell you that. I want it on my table next week. Everything will be restored to her. Yeah. What give her the victory? Yeah. Patience. Persistence. Persistence. Many of us, we don't persevere. We pray one minute prayer, Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. And when, my friend, prayer is more than that. The Bible says, pray without what? Season. We don't pray. We don't pray that job when it doesn't happen. We say, God is there. He's there. You have not really done the right thing. Wow. The Bible says, wait for they say, if that unjust judge can do that, what about God? Yeah. Will he not yeah. answer the servants? He's elect that cry night and day. Will you not answer? God will answer you. God will answer you. It may delay to you. It's not delayed. Because a thousand years is like one day. Yes, sir. So when you think 10 months has a last no, that 10 months is just like a half a second before God. So you must key into God's program. Yes. To get the blessing of God, you must key into his program. He said, your ways are not my ways. Yes. Your thoughts are not my thoughts. It's as the heavens. You can see. Wow. So for you to benefit, you must key into his own modus operandi. Yeah. That will get a blessing. Amen. Now, there are five daughters of the little heart. Write it down. Numbers 27. I'm going to write down now in a few minutes. Numbers 27, verse 1 to 11. The little heart had five daughters. No son. And by the practice, what was obtainable then, daughters don't inherit properties. That's right, man. And now, at the demise of your father, they came to Moses. He said, Moses, our father died, no son, but we are five daughters. We want to have inheritance among our brethren. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Moses he looked at it and said, don't you know the, the practice? You are not qualified. <laughs> I said, look, we are qualified. We need it. You must give us. <clears throat> you know what happened? This was beyond Moses. You can read it for yourself. Yeah. Moses went to who? Baba. He went to God. Mm -hmm. My friend, there are certain things you don't need to presume to know. Don't presume. Don't assume. Mm -hmm. Leave it to God to answer it. Yeah. He went to God. He said, Father, I say yes. He said, Look, these five doctors said they need land. It's not, you know, you, the, God didn't waste. I said, Go and give to them. They are right. Yeah, he said, Now from today, write it down in yeah. black and white. Yeah. 
If a man dies, no son, the daughters must inherit. And if there is no, if, if you read it, is there in black and white? My friend, never you quit. Never you surrender. My friend, your miracle is coming. Man may say you are not qualified, but God say you are qualified. Man say you are not entitled to it, but God say you are entitled. Treat that which is yours. Never give up. Never retreat. Never surrender. It's yours. The five daughters is a little bad. Change the course of life. History was rewritten. You were not qualified yesterday, but today God said you are qualified. You were not entitled to receive yesterday, but God said today is your portion. I am here to announce to you today, never you retreat, never you surrender, never you give up, never you think you are not qualified. God said you are qualified. Not what men say, but what God says. As I say, whose report will you believe? Uh -huh. Men's report. Mm -hmm. I was in Rango a few days ago. I came back on, on Friday. A very close family friend. They have written off that he was going to die. Mm -hmm. He was in bed for almost two years. Wow. He can't move. They have to carry him. You know what happened? They were thinking he's going to die. He looked at the wife while they said, look, I am not dying. Okay. And I asked him, ah, whose report you will you believe? <laughs> if you see him, he was skeleton. <laughs> Let me tell you. I told you I was dreaming from Austin to Houston on Friday. Is that what I told you? Yeah. The same man that he wrote off was going to die was the one that brought me. Wow, my goodness. Oh, when he, he, he told them, he said, you have a short time to die. But he, he said, I'm not dying. God didn't tell me that. Yeah. God said, I'm going to leave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you see, if you doubt God, you are on your own. Yeah. You will end up in confusion. You will just be wandering away. Yeah. But when you trust God, yeah. at times, his ways are, they look foolish. Yeah. Why did he not take them through a, a shorter route to the promised land? Mm -hmm. He took them through another route. Yeah. The long route, he didn't go there. My friend, follow him. Yeah. Go with him. Yeah. He will not mislead you. Yeah. He will not fail you. And so when the doctors did not say, eh? one guy said, Mr. Friday, you made this issue, says me. He brought me, he drove, drove from Austin to, to Houston on Friday. Mm -hmm. The man that was written off that we died. The doctor, all of them gave up on him. Wow. He was gone. But today he's on his feet. Yeah. Walking and talking. And friend, you cannot follow God and end up in shame. You cannot trust God and be disgraced. My friend, you cannot trust God and become a laughing stock. He said, I will not leave you. He said, I will not forsake you. He said, I will be with you and protect you and defend you and sustain you and uphold you and supply all your needs according to riches and glory. Ladies and gentlemen, are you going to give up? No. Refuse to give up. Refuse to quit. Refuse to surrender. Refuse to think that God has abandoned you. He will not abandon you. The time you take it over, he shows up. It's just like this. The, the three Hebrew sons, they were thrown inside the fire. And if God had delivered them from the fire, it would have been a special miracle. God did not deliver them from the fire, He delivered them out. They are two things. From me, they would have been thrown inside the fire. Out means they were in. He brought them out. And the king said, We're three, three men, but I see the four men. He looks like the son of God. My friend, somebody here to me today, the miracle is coming your way. I don't care what the devil means. I don't care what he says. When God says it, it is fire. When God says it, it is settled. When God says it, it is done. What men say doesn't matter. What God says counts. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. importunity yeah. will take you where? There. Yeah. Importunity will give you what? Results. Importunity will make you realize your dreams and your heart desire. If you quit, you won't get it. 
If that man had gone home, he would have gone empty handed. But he said, I won't go until you give me bread. My friend, this morning, I want to pray with you. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know the challenges. I don't know those that have disappointed you. I don't know what you desire from God. You say, man of God, I have been praying for this in January, and this is December, and today is 18th. Forget about that. God can do it in one minute. Mm. As you live here, like can happen. Yeah. Even right now, it can happen here. Yeah. So you don't say, well, for, for how long? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Please, give me a break, my friend. God will not give He will fix it for you. Yeah. Holy on. Holy, you know, give him a lucky. Pray out fully, faithfully, every day. Holy, you know, holy, you know, holy, you know, holy, you know. Pray out fully, faithfully, every day. Give him a lucky. Give him a shot, a shot.
He said, I know. He didn't say, I think or I presume. No. He said, I know what I think for you. Doctor, he knows his plan for you. Yeah. You may be seeing something different, but he has a special plan for yeah. you. To enlarge and to elevate you. He knows. He knows. Man may be to presume or speculate. No, he, God is not a speculator. Yeah. He knows. He sees. He said, he sees the end from the beginning. He yeah. knows yeah. today. Yeah. Are you going to trust God to take you there? The day we are talking about is by believing and holding on tenaciously without quitting. Yeah. A lot of people, they give up their faith. I see many Christians, they surrender. Mm -hmm. They don't persevere. Mm -hmm. They come after two days. I'm tired. My friend, don't be tired. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, they that shall walk endure it. Yeah. Up to the end. Yeah. Yeah. Not midway. You see the World Cup going on now? People are playing, some have gone home, some are playing final today. As you need those playing final today, one of the two say, well, I don't want to play, I'm going home. We didn't get the cup. No. You play to the end. If it's extra time, you play the extra time. If it's penalty shooter, you do what? Shoot the penalty. Hold it on. Don't give up. Hold it on. Don't surrender. We're going to see that song again. Brother, you try to follow the key, but I'm not very impressed with that. Doc, can you play for me? Yeah, play for me. Give the doctor a hand, please. Yeah. Yeah. Holy no. Holy no. Prayerfully, faithfully. Yeah. 
do not abandon you. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I stand before your altar. Whatever it is, I have asked you today. I ask for a realization. I ask for a fulfillment. Father, I refuse to quit. Father, I refuse to surrender. Father, I refuse to give up. Today, I ask for speedy response. Answer in the name of Jesus. Give me a testimony. Give me a testimony. Father, let my expectation be realized. Every plan of the enemy to deny me or delay that which is mine. Today, I cancel. I receive that which is mine. If you did it for Jacob, you will do it for me. If you did it for Ruth, you will do it for me. If you did it for five daughters of Zanin for her, you will do it for me. If you did it for that widow, you will do it for me. Lord, answer speedily in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mind, tell him what you want him to do for you right away. Tell him what you want him to do for you right away. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I give you praise, O oh God. I bless your holy name, O oh God. Thank you, Father. Do you be praise? Do you be praise? Do you be praise? Do you be praise? Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. And make it you to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We praise you. In the name of Jesus. Glory be to you. Let it be done. In Jesus' name. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Those of you standing here now. Do you believe God has the capacity and the power to do it? Do you believe? It's done. It's done. Holy Ghost. And cause your power to flow in the life of your daughter. Receive that which you desire. Now. 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 Now, in the name of Jesus Christ, it is done. Receive it. Father, let your son have a story to tell. A story of victory, triumph. That which was delayed is released. Receive. 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 Now, in the name of Jesus. The year that the Kanka woman was eating, the Pamba woman is over. This is your season of restoration. Receive God's favor blessing. Receive it. You are held up to this point. It's released. Now. 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 Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that which is your desire be fulfilled. It is done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, behold your son. Let it be clearer to him. Let it be clearer. For that which you have ordained will come to pass. Let it be clearer. He will not miss his way. Your word says the steps of the righteous they are ordered by you. Order his steps. And let him arrive at his destination. That place he desired, that day, that dream, that goal, let it come speedily. In the name of Jesus Christ, let testimony come. It is done. You shall testify. For God is not man that he should lie. And that which he has spoken, he will bring it to pass. In Jesus' name. Give the Lord a hand, will you please? Hallelujah. I told you one new song last a few days at the day of Friday that says, Only you, Lord. Only you, Lord. Only you, Lord. Only you, Lord. Belongs all power. 